Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Nikon D700 and Nikon D600. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Nikon D700 and the Nikon D600 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 7th of October 2008 and the 13th of November 2012. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Nikon D700. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Nikon D600. For portrait photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Nikon D700 and the Nikon D600. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Nikon D700. And here are some sample photos from the Nikon D600. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon D700. The D700 is a serious camera that is worth the price, especially compared to other options in the same price range. It may draw too much attention for street photography, but it still takes great quality pictures. The D3S is a better camera, but the price difference may not be worth it. Overall, I would rate the D700 at 4 fifths and consider it a great value. Nikon D700 is a versatile camera with great image quality, particularly in low light. It has a solid body and handles well, but it is a bit heavy. The auto ISO limiter is a favorite feature, and the camera has a good autofocus system and continuous shooting speed. The menu could be improved, and it requires investment in FX lenses. Overall, it is a fantastic camera for portrait, wedding, sports, and low-light photography, but may not be ideal for travel or extreme conditions. I would recommend it for its performance and image quality. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon D600. The D600 is a great camera for those with a collection of FX lenses, but the D800E outperforms it at high ISO. The D3200 is a steal for the price and the quality of its DX sensor, while mirrorless cameras like the Fujifilm X-Series are gaining ground in quality. The D600 takes beautiful photos, but it might be my last- I bought the Nikon D600 despite the negative remarks and have found it to be sharp, clear, and capable of taking great photographs. I'm enjoying the challenge of learning to operate it, and have seen a big difference in my photos. I don't mind the oil and dust issues, as cleaning the sensor is simple and quick. I recommend this camera to anyone interested in using a DSLR, and have had success with the AFS Nicker 16-35mm and 28-300mm lenses. I recently had to clean the sensor and found it easy to do so, and I'm still happy with my purchase. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Nikon D700. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Nikon D600. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. 